Welcome to EDU TV with 4.5 lakh plus viewers and over 1500 educational repositories across the world. The founder is Mr. Pranav Guha Thakarada and co-founder is Ms. Tanya Sefi. Hello everyone and welcome to EDU TV's Humanities and AI program. I'm delighted to be here with you all today to kick off this exciting discussion on the intersection of humanities and artificial intelligence. We are honored to have with us today a distinguished guest, Mrs. Jyoti Lutra, an experienced educational consultant with a demonstrated history of working in the education management industry. Mrs. Lutra is a skilled sales professional, public speaker, administrator, teacher trainer, and a leader. She brings to this discussion a wealth of knowledge and expertise in the field of education. As we explore the relationship between humanities and AI, we recognize the transformative impact that AI is having on our world today. AI has the potential to revolutionize the way we live, work, and learn. And it is critical that we explore how this technology can be used to enhance human activity and innovation. At the same time, we must also recognize the importance of humanities in shaping our understanding of the world and place in it. Through the study of literature, philosophy, history, and other humanities disciplines, we gain a deeper appreciation for our shared humanity and values that bind us together as a society. Today's discussion will explore the ways in which AI and humanities can work together to create new possibilities and foster innovation. We look forward to hearing from Mrs. Luthra and all our guests as we explore this exciting, important topic. Thank you for joining us today and we hope you enjoy the program. Now, I turn the stage towards Mrs. Luthra. Over to you, Mrs. Luthra, on the important topic, humanities and AI. Thank you, Pranav, sir. Good morning, everyone, for giving me a chance to be on this platform and to share my views on the very trending topic these days, which is humanities versus AI. Uh, myself, Jyoti Lutra, and I have been an educational consultant and a long journey of education sector since last 25 years. And I have seen so many changes, various changes in education sector since all these years. What I would like to say about this is that many of us, we wake up in the morning and we ask Alexa that what is the weather today? Thereafter, when we go to our work, then we use Google Maps. Thereafter, when we are at wo our work, we also use Google Chat GPT for various things. Now, these are the changes which I have seen myself, I have witnessed myself when we were started, uh, when I started my career as a teacher, and now where I am, I think there's a lot of difference we people are dependent on artificial intelligence these days, even the students are. So the humanity and human intelligence and artificial intelligence, they both are growing definitely. Artificial intelligence is because of human intelligence only. But human intelligence, it refers to human intellect, capability that allows us to think, to learn, from different experiences what we have to understand the complex concepts, logic and reasons. We solve mathematical problems, students do solve various problems, they recognize the patterns, they make the interferences and decisions, they retain the information, they communicate with fellow human beings. And that is how the artificial intelligence and all these gadgets which we are using today have come 
into existence. But you know that all these things, after all, are man-made. They are from the human brain itself. When human intelligence is unique, every human has its own intelligence, has its own experiences, and it is unique which is backed up by abstract emotions like self-awareness, passion, motivation that enables humans to accomplish complex and cognitive tasks. I know that, you know, that uh, the artificial intelligence, which is head to head and this comparison, when we compare between artificial intelligence and human intelligence, then the first thing which I would like to say is, that artificial intelligence is created by human intelligence. And after all, it is artificial. And human intelligence, it is created by divine intelligence. The process of information, which is given to the artificial intelligence, the, it is processed by the information that it is fostered, whereas the information which is given to the human intelligence, it is fostered and it is processed by emotions, by abstract emotions, which is missing. Though we have, you know, robots, surgical robots today, but when a doctor is doing a surgery and a surgical robot is doing a surgery, you can understand that there is a lot of difference. I do not say that uh, human intelligence is better or artificial intelligence is not that uh, better. We need that. We definitely need that. What I would say is that where we are heading today, this is what our ancestors have done long back. Say if I compare, and if you um, just see that when we hear in COVID, everybody has seen Ramayana, Mahabharata, the serials. And we have seen certain things there that when we see that Karan was the putra of Kunti and Surya. Now, what is this? This is IVF because when they picturized that scene that Surya was so far away from Kunti and Kunti was here on earth and when they connected and it is like Karan the Suryaputra was born that was the IVF which the technology which our ancestors have mastered we still has to we still have to come a long way I think we need hundreds of years from here now to come to that because you know there are certain things which we have seen in Ramayana when Ramana took Sita to Lanka then that was a Pushpak Viman so that means that uh, aeroscience was then also it was there and aeroplanes were there when um, Ram uh, Rama created pull and everyone you know helped then you can see that today also Google has searched that there is a connection between Sri Lanka and India and has come to a picture. So this is, you know, we are coming again to that thing. But what I would say that earlier humans were increasing their internal powers and they were doing things. But nowadays, today, uh, the human beings, they are increasing their external powers. They are increasing their external identifications and things which we can do with the help of gadgets. This is what we are doing these days. Definitely, you know, that uh, artificial intelligence in many of the ways is more accurate because uh, if I talk about the advantages, then speed of execution is one of the advantage, which is there. Because while a doctor can diagnose anything in 10 minutes, then definitely with the help of various tests, 
with the help of robotic science, we are able to diagnose the things which was not possible. Now, if we talk of the operational ability, because uh, robotic science and these robots, they have come a long way in medical these days. And in education also, we are using all these artificial intelligence. Google was there, because, uh, but now chat GPT is there. And if you ask any question, then within minutes, you will get the answer of that question. But it is different for different questions. For example, if I ask uh, ChatGPT that who is Mr. X, ChatGPT will answer, I don't know who's Mr. X. Maybe uh, could be uh, about any renowned personality. I have tried it myself that if I ask ChatGPT who is this personality, then maybe ChatGPT may not be able to answer. But when I would ask ChatGPT that who is the president of US and this, then uh, chat GPT would be able to give the name of the person. So definitely these are the lacking points in uh, artificial intelligence, which are there. But at many places, we can use artificial intelligence, we can enhance all this and we can um, make use of uh, these gadgets and artificial intelligence uh, platforms which uh, today's generation would save time upon, can use their human intelligence beyond that and can grow many a times. Thank you so much, ma'am. You spoke so eloquently on the subject. I'm sure students of humanities can definitely use artificial intelligence to supplement whatever they are looking for. And this advice of yours will be helpful to all the students, teachers, in fact, all the stakeholders of education. In fact, the society also. Thank you so much, Mrs. Jyoti Luthra, for your wonderful advice on the subject. This is Pranav Gwat Akurta, founder, EduTV, with 5 lakh plus viewers across the world. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for having me on this platform. I'm delighted to be with you. Thank you so much. Welcome to EDU TV with 4.5 lakh plus viewers and over 1,500 educational repositories across the world. The founder is Mr. Pranav Guha Thakarada and co-founder is Ms. Tanya Sefi.